What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. I got a very special Wi-Fi battle for you guys today. We are against my good friend, Neuerhart, a.k.a. Ren. You might know him on Instagram as Neuerhart TV. His YouTube link will be on the description down below, and so will his Instagram link. Give him a follow. Give him a sub. He posts some really, really good content. One of the best young upcoming content creators that I have ever set my eyes on. His videos make me laugh all the time. It's you guys should check it out. We played we played Smash Bros before. Now we're gonna go ahead and play some Pokemon Sword and Shield and this is my arena. Smash Bros was his arena. This is my arena so I'm expecting to get the win or um don't take it this wrong way but this is my this is my scene right here. So let's have a good Wi-Fi battle. That's all that matters in this here. So my opponent, Ren, is bringing a really cool team, and I need to hurry up and pick my team. Right off the bat, um, Magnazone is very, very scary to me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start Diggersby, because I can at least U-turn out of there. And if he starts with the Magnazone, I can threaten with an Earthquake. I know he has a Charizard in the back. Um, but I can, if he goes Charizard, I go Lantern. I love your Lee card. I love your Lee card. That's cool. It is really cool. I'm collecting that after this Wi-Fi battle, so let's let's just have a good Wi-Fi battle. Let's do this. So Rhea comes out the oh, I thought this was gonna be Gardevoir. I was thinking Rhea from Fire Emblem. I don't know if this is a Fire Emblem reference, but Rhea comes out. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna fire a punch here. He probably is gonna have Sticky Web. I don't know what he's gonna do with this Excelgore. I've not seen Excelgore in years, so Excelgore goes down, unfortunately for my opponents, um, and we are locked into the fire punch, so we're in trouble. We're in trouble because let's say that his... Actually, I think we're in a good spot. I don't want to hit anything else with the fire punch, though. I know that for a fact, but to be honest, whatever he switches into, I feel pretty confident because if he switches into a special attacker, I'm going to go out into my boy, um, ooh, shiny Umbreon, beautiful. Um, I'm going to go out in, I would have gone out into Lantern and gone Special Attacker, but given that it's an Umbreon, I'm just going to go Rabu and I'm going to threaten with a high jump kick. So Rabu's going to put in some work in this Wi-Fi battle, I can already tell. So Rabu comes out, I can also hit him with a U-turn. Dark Pulse, interesting. That's a pretty good amount of damage. That's, that's what, a third? Just about. I'm just going to U-turn out of there. I'm just going to U-turn. I decided to run Rabu in this team because you see Cinderace everywhere, right? Rabu can be just as effective as Cinderace with the Choice Band. I mean, it gets, um, it gets Libero. What else do you want from this Rabu? It's beautiful. Look at him. Look at him, it's such clean design from Rabu. I really love Rabu. I really do. I love it more than Cinderace. Now, unfortunately for me, we didn't knock out. I'm just gonna go out into the lantern here. I'm gonna go out into the lantern. We're gonna go ahead and um, bolt switch out of there next turn. Shadow Ball should not phase us. Yeah, definitely doesn't do anything. And then we're just going to Volt Switch out of there. I really don't think this thing is invested in special defense. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. But I'm just going to Volt Switch out of there. I'm going to Volt Switch out of there. And then I'm going to go back into the Diggers B. Because, to be honest, dig. well, I can go into my boy... Um, well, no. I can't necessarily go Ferrothorn because Charizard is the thing. So we'll see. He goes into Vivian the Gardevoir, right? I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, so I'm gonna Volt Switch here, and this is a perfect opportunity for us to go out into the Ferrothorn. And then we're just gonna set up the Self Rock because Charizard is gonna hate the Self Rocks. I already know that, for sure. We're gonna go out into the Ferrothorn here, and we're just gonna go ahead and set up the Self Rock. Touche. I spilled some of my water. Look at how hot it is in here. I took this out of the fridge, literally, five, ten minutes ago, and it's already condensating. Charizard comes out, right? Cloud the Charizard, I love the nickname, comes out. Unfortunately for us, he goes out into Cloud the Charizard before we even get the chance to set up the Self Rock, and obviously, we're not going to stay in. I'm just gonna go out into the Lantern here, 
and take this fire type attack like a champ. Okay, so here comes the Lantern, Dragon Claw. This, so this is a physical attacking. Very good play for you, Ren. It's just that Lantern's just too much to handle, my friend. Um, honestly, we Bolt Switch. I don't see him staying in. I don't see him staying in. I think he's getting into the flow of things. You're, he's playing very well. For him not to play competitive Pokemon, he's playing very well. He's making the right switches. I'm just putting too much pressure on him with the U-turns and the Bolt Switches. And I get to put myself in situations that I want to be in. So the next play for us is going to be to go into the Ferrothorn. And the way I'm going to win this Wi-Fi battle, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up my hazards. And I'm going to punish him for switching. Honestly, playing, playing like this where, well, what I meant to say is when your opponent is putting pressure on you. Zap Cannon, wow. Very bold, very, very bold. When your opponent is putting pressure on you with the hazards on the field and you don't have a hazard, you know, cleaner, you're in you're in for a world of pain, especially if you switch out a lot. Especially if you switch out a lot. I'm one of those players. I tend to switch a lot in a Wi-Fi battle, and unfortunately, when I'm up against a team with a bunch of hazards, I suffer a lot because I rarely bring a spinner or a defogger. The last time I brought in a spinner or a defogger, I can't even remember, to be honest. So Cloud comes in, takes half damage because of this um, attack. Now, honestly, if I were my opponent, I would play this aggressively and just go for the um, flamethrower or flare blitz, whatever he's packing. Regardless, though, so he goes for the flare blitz. That's a good play, but you're going to knock yourself out. You're going to knock yourself out. There's the iron barbs, and then we got the rocky helmet on. And then you're going to hurt yourself with the recoil. So it's a double knockout. So, though that is the right play, I would run a special Charizard. I really would. Um, I'm going to go out into the Lantern. No, I'm going to go out into the Diggersby and just you turn the hashtag out of there. All right, so Rain comes out, the Mimikyu. And I'm okay with that. I am very okay with that because we cannot get hit with the with the ghost type attack. So we're gonna go out into the diggers be here. And we're just gonna go ahead and just fire off an earthquake. Fire off an earthquake. And this should break the disguise, do even more damage to rain the Mimikyu. I love the shiny Pokemon. The Umbreon, my favorite. My favorite. Out of the ones he's brought out so far. So he's gonna Swords Dance, not good news for him, because I'm Scarfed. He probably was not expecting for me to be Scarfed either. So I'm gonna take this rain from him. And then I think I can get a sweep with the uh, Earthquake. I'm pretty sure I can. Man, can't, if you guys missed the last Wi-Fi battle, check it out. <laughs> the ending was just hilarious, in my opinion. And if you're enjoying this Wi-Fi battle, leave a like and make sure you go follow Ren. His name is Neuhart. So Umbreon comes out. It's going to go down to the hazards, unfortunately. And this is part of the reason why I set up the hazards. So Umbreon is going to go down, unfortunately, for my opponent. And this is going to be a um, Diggersby cleanup. Thanks to the help of Ferrothorn. So Vivian the Gardevoir also comes out. Going to take more than, well, more than that, obviously. Gonna go to half, and then we honestly just Earthquake to clean it up. It's Dynamaxing. All right, Ren, I see you. Gotta do what you gotta do to win, right? I respect that. I respect that. So big girl Gardevoir, the Vivian, comes out. And an Earthquake is going to definitely knock this thing out. Especially since we're a huge power. So, Vivian goes boom! And I don't think we have to Dynamax to win this. And I'm not going to Dynamax to win this. I just don't think it would be fair to my opponent. I don't think it'd be fair. So, Light comes out. Going to take some massive damage. And this Earthquake is definitely going to knock us out. Or knock him out, I mean. So, takes those spikes and the Stealth Rock like a champ. We're just going to Earthquake here, and that is game. A 5-0 victory in my favor. Regardless, though, 
For his, I think the, I think he just got into Wi-Fi battling, and I don't think he's well versed into Wi-Fi battling. And I apologize if you are, Bren, but you played very well. You really did. Seriously, you made the right plays. Um, if it's one advice I'd give you is, is just study a little bit more as far as what move sets to accept uh, expect on against your opponent. That's one of the things that always gets me, to be honest, and. and it did a lot at the beginning also, um, but it's a learning experience. So thank you, Ren, for that Wi-Fi battle. You did hella good. Thank you, viewers, for watching, and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more Wi-Fi battles. If you want to battle me, by the way, I got a Discord link at the bottom of uh, on the description. Follow the instructions on the, dis on the description after you join the link. It shouldn't be hard to find me, and hit feel free to hit me up. We'll have a Wi-Fi battle. It's your boy, Danny Mac. I'll see you guys next